Hey everybody, welcome to another video. I haven't really recorded in a while actually. There's gonna be a short little message in the description to explain what has been happening with me and stuff. But now on to the video. The title of this video should have to do with something to do with Twitch bans. If you've been following me for a while, then you know that I've got in total four Twitch bans. And to be completely honest, I don't, I don't agree with most of them, but it's for Twitch's cause, obviously. So let me just quickly explain what really went down. So my first ban, that was because of the fact that I got banned the first time for non-gaming content because I was new to Twitch. I didn't really know how to change the games and stuff. I, I was like drawing in paint and I had my game to Rocket League and I was new to Twitch so I didn't really know what to do. So I didn't know how to change the title or anything or the game. So I just had to do deal with it I guess. And um, I didn't actually expect that I was going to get banned because I was such a small channel. But hell no, I did get banned. So it was only 24 hours, so it was okay. I kind of didn't agree with it because if someone had told me how to change, I would have probably done it immediately. But you can't expect Twitch to do that if you're streaming on the wrong place. On If I'm purposely like breaking their rules, obviously I'm going to get banned, you know. Okay, so going to the second one. And that was probably a similar mistake too. I was playing a prohibited game called Yandere Simulator. I believe I'm not because I knew that you weren't supposed to play on it. I wasn't too sure. I think I had heard for some reason someone talk about that it was being banned from Twitch. But I think I completely forgot about it in one stream. And then I realized once I got banned that, oh, I'm not allowed to play it. So that was also a stupid mistake which I made. And I kind of, oh, it's just so annoying. But I got indefinite ban, which basically means unsured ban. You don't know how long you'll get banned for until you've appealed for it. This is one ban, which is really strange. So I appeal it. I appeal it on a Sunday or Saturday, I don't remember. And then it was like a Wednesday or something. This happened. My first ban was. I think it was in the summer, and my second ban was not long after the su summer. So going back to my second ban, I, I appealed it. And then three days later, I noticed on my phone that a semi-famous Twitch streamer who had like 20,000 followers followed me. And I was like, oh my god, then I must have been unbanned. So I got really happy over that, which was really weird because, you know, I didn't get an email from Twitch compared to the other bands. So, yeah. Going on to my third ban, I was banned for gore and other content, which basically means that I was playing like very violent stuff, bloody and all of that. And it wasn't really my fault because there were people posting these videos on my stream, which I didn't necessarily have control over. But since it was coming so frequent, I, I guess people had to report me. Although it always happens that when I get banned, it's always a team who's there. It's not just one person because I feel like Twitch thinks about first it takes in how many people are complaining, then it takes in how many, like what's the issue? Is the issue like ongoing or is it just happened once? Because I feel like doing it once is still a problem even if you do it continuously. Because if there's already a team there watching you play and then reports you with several people, if you've just done one little thing, you can get banned for that. So that's what's very important that whatever is displayed is displayed correctly. So of course I got the third ban was for someone else putting it on my stream and I got indefinite suspension. And I think this was probably one of the most stressful bans because everyone had been going around saying, oh, you know, three bans is, you know, uh uh, -uh Twitch perma ban. Because the thing is, I do not understand. There's so many people I haven't seen being permanently banned. They just claim that they're permanently banned, but then I don't, we don't know if they've appealed or not. They don't usually say, they say they got infinite ban and they say, oh my god, this is a permanent ban. But then look at me, I have four bans. What are you talking about? Um, I do think that Twitch has been much nicer than the past because to me, watching other streamers and especially girl streamers, they seem to be treated much less at least a while ago. I think now is a good time where it's like, you don't need to worry about that. So I, I appealed it on a Sunday and I was intending to stream on Hitbox. No, I appealed on a sat Sunday, yeah. And they replied to me on a Saturday again, I think. Yeah, because what happened was I was going to stream only on Hitbox on like the next time because I stream on weekend. And then I it comes and to show that I got banned like, and I think it was like 30 minutes before I was going to start streaming that day. I was like, oh my God. 
I've got I I've got a band, so you know it was so happy for me. And this the third band was happened roughly. Um, the third band roughly happened, I would say, a few months ago. So yeah, going on to my fourth band, which was very recent. I think it happened a few weeks ago. Um, I got banned for sexual explicit content or other. I don't remember. And I basically got banned because someone was abusing my restream chat. And they were posting links, links. They were posting links. And my restream converts links into images. And restream doesn't have this feature, or at least not what I'm aware of, that you can like delete messages. It just says block. If I right click someone's name on restream chat, then it says block user. It doesn't say like timeout or delete message. Which I think is because, you know, Restream is its own pro program. It shouldn't have to inflict with the chat. So the only way for me to, to filter people's messages on my Restream chat is either spam the chat or filter specific words, which I don't want to pop up. But they will still pop up on uh, my normal chats unless it's also filtered there. Then they'll get timed out for it. What I wanted to say was someone posted a link where it was an... I think one was like an anime porn gif and the other one was an actual porn gif and I was like I was trying to because I kept pressing the tick button on and off because I thought they were going to stop because I kept banning them but then I think people were people were making alt accounts and I didn't have time enough to IP ban them and I think they were the same person was using the VPN and I know who that person is but I'm not going to mention his name he was actually one of my one of my donators, so it was pretty sad to see. That. And what I am happy is that I got banned after that too. So my fourth ban, I got banned. I appealed it on a Sunday, and I believe I got unbanned probably a little bit more than after a week. Which I mean, I was a bit annoyed that they didn't respond to me within a week or after a week they took them a little bit longer but you know it's fine i got on band now and i got of course it was an indefinite suspension the first two are usually 24 hours unless like say one of the bands either the first or second one is like serious like sexual content or gore then they would usually put anyway an indefinite suspension and you might be wondering how did i get through this with twitch and stuff basically i'm really good at writing essays and stuff well i'm not the best at writing essays but when it comes to something i love and something i have passion for it's important for me to write the best appeal i can and i think at least previous appeal I at least wrote, I would say, like one and a half pages, like Google Doc document. So it wasn't like a simple appeal. So what I can take from this is that Twitch is a very business. It looks at Twitch as a business perspective. Of course, Twitch is doing that. I'm just saying like when people complain on YouTube saying, oh, I got banned. Uh, uh, most of the time, I would say either it's because they're doing something completely wrong or they do not know how to write a proper appeal, or they just simply, you know, just want to whine about it. So I would say that if you don't want to get banned on Twitch, make sure that you have enforced your chat and enforced, you know, these bugs. Because the last two, I kind of fixed them because the second one, the first one, I kind of, you know, the, pe the people can't post those images anymore. The, the videos, sorry. The videos on my third band, they can't post that anymore. And then the fourth one, I've disabled now links in my restream. So I manually need to give subscribers, because I'm only going to give subscribers, the, the option to post images. Well, they can still post images if they're a mod or if they're a sub, but for it to show up, then I have to manually add their name because default nobody, it only shows the link instead. I can also take from this is that Twitch is very smart, but also a bit doesn't look at the context. But what can you say? I mean, it's Twitch, you know, they're, they're, they're the biggest streaming site. They need to watch their viewers, make sure that they're following their rules and stuff. Um, as for the people who are already banned, please try to appeal again because I feel like Twitch has better staff and unless they give you a valid reason that you're permanently banned, then I feel like you need to still try to write a good enough appeal because if someone who's 16 can write a good appeal to get unbanned four times, I think adults who stream should know better to, for example, like Grosscore, like Britney, um, there, there's countless of streamers who are permanently banned. But I also think that there could be a chance where they 
just they don't like them i think for me it's like they don't like they they like they don't mind me it's not a big deal they don't care what i do so i want to end off this video saying that i'm fine now with the band i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get banned again i can i can just imagine it probably it's gonna be either for harassment or something similar to that because someone's going to take my video my streams out of context and say well you know you're doing harassment you're breaking the rules but one thing you must know is that twitch i think if you break their rules twice same specific rule then i i guess that would could be considered a permanent ban but most people who get banned on twitch nowadays get banned for two different reasons or three different reasons depending on how many bans they've got they don't usually get two bans because when twitch bans you you know that you shouldn't do that again so you don't do it so i'm gonna leave this video here if you have any comments regarding this or anything else make sure you comment them down below um also read the the message in my description i would really appreciate it thank you for watching this video have a nice day everyone goodbye